Well, hi folks, Sean Kutzko, KX9X here, and it is Saturday, April 27th, 2013, and it is Morse code day for one thing, but another thing that's going on today is the annual QRP to the field event. Now, this event is uh, normally the first time here in New England uh, that uh, the weather is cooperative enough to get outside and enjoy a little outdoor QRP work, and that's exactly what I'm doing today. It is a gorgeous day here in uh, Connecticut, in West Hartford. It's about uh, 70 degrees today, sunny skies, nice green field, and uh, boy oh boy, this is just the uh, perfect conditions under which to do a little QRP work today. So that's what we're doing. Uh, I'll give you a quick overview of the site. Uh, this is actually a school uh, with a giant field uh, in the back of the school that I'm set at, uh, set up at, a nice grade school here, with a little wildlife, and uh, there's a community area over here uh, where there's some uh, community garden plots for those that don't have the room to uh, set up a garden in their own uh, backyard. Maybe they live in an apartment or something like I do. And uh, the station is, uh, it's about as simple as you could possibly get. I'll give you a quick overview. This is uh, the entire station. Uh, just got a nice little blanket I'm laying out on, uh, a nice collapsible stadium seat uh, to give me a little back support when I'm sitting down, and, uh, and here's the whole station. Uh, I'm running uh, a Tentec two-band rig. This is the 4020, uh, picked up a couple of years ago. It's uh, putting out about three watts. And uh, the paddle that I'm using is by the uh, folks at Palm Radio. This is one of those uh, Palm uh, paddles that's uh, uh, designed for the uh, 817, but uh, it works just fine with other rigs as well, and it comes with a base that you can uh, magnetically adhere to any radio that uh, uh, is metal or uh, any other metal surface that you want to use. Simple clock, uh, paper and pencil to log on, and uh, a nice uh, 7 amp hour gel cell provides uh, plenty of power. It's a little heavy, but uh, uh, I'm not doing some serious backpacking here. So it works out just fine, and uh, the antenna is simply fed with about uh, 25 feet of uh, RG-174. It's uh, a little lossy, but it's not so bad, and I've just got a, uh, a two-band uh, resonant dipole for 20 and 40. It's got traps for 40 in it, and uh, it's, I don't know, the apex is maybe 20, 25 feet off the ground, if that, and uh, just threw it up in a couple of trees. So nothing terribly fancy here. For the setup. So how does it work? Well, uh, so far, let's see, I've been out here about an hour or so, and uh, I've made about, uh, oh, 15 contacts. W7CNL, Jack in Idaho was my first one. Thank you, Jack. Always good to work you when uh, we're doing QRP stuff. Uh, it's a work to pedestrian mobile, uh, W0 Radio Whiskey Pedestrian Mobile in Colorado. Uh, worked uh, Dan in Indiana, NI9Y, N4MJ down in Tennessee, uh, AI4VE in South Carolina, W0UFO in Minnesota. Uh, I heard a JA, but uh, didn't uh, didn't uh, work him. And uh, just a little bit ago, I worked uh, K2 Zulu Charlie. He's doing a uh, soda operation right now. Summits on the air. He's over in uh, New Jersey today doing a, a summits on the air trip. Uh, also got uh, K2UPD in Kentucky and VE3AXL in Ontario. Thanks for the QSOs, guys. So, uh, boy oh boy, you want to talk about a day uh, of fun in the sun with a little bit of radio and some QRP work? You can't ask for much more than this. Uh, three watts and I'm working stuff all around the, the uh, United States and Canada. It's a great way to spend a little bit of time, get outside in the sun. Maybe I'll uh, listen to a little baseball this afternoon. Who knows, but uh, simple QRP stations can add up to a whole lot of fun. Give it a try if you uh, haven't done so already. I'm Sean Kutzko, KX9X, 72.